Ooh, yes. Hey, hey, hey. Girl, work it. Girl, we out here on a date with you and you over here is flirting with celebrities now. Is that what you're on? Okay, fine. Slay, say less. You, you was clapped and you Poor us, you nasty cat. What are you doing? I bet he's pretending to sleep. He's just like... <laughs> you're like... <laughs> new reshade who this we are going to be testing out the brand new love struck expansion pack that literally dropped last night the reason why i'm doing this now and we're doing a little mini series thing is because guys i don't want to risk ruining any of my current save files so as you can see i'm currently creating for us a sim i was going to use the one and only enzo coles but i feel like i've been dragging enzo through the mud in my barbie series and then he's had a wally by mix up in his own little um 100 baby mama thing so i feel like we need someone new you know for this little mini series but i do want a let's play with a male sim so we're gonna do this it's gonna be a mini series not gonna be a full-on full-on thing i'm not gonna be planning this one out like how i plan out the barbie one even though the barbie one never goes to plans this is literally just playing experiment with the game seeing whether it's worth for you to spend your coins because i spent mine and you guys already know i ain't got the facilities for that but i love how he turned out and i actually think he fits quite well with the pack which was completely coincidental and like i wanted to go with a really eccentric vibe that's like really different to how i usually make my sins and i think i achieved that like he is a pattern king oh yes and then we have this new preference so we've got the preference of their turn ons and turn offs which is awesome outfit color is crazy man said oh you wearing red today uh -uh, absolutely not love <laughs> i wonder how this is gonna go with wonderful whims is attractiveness system because i've already got that in there i hope it doesn't bug out too bad but let's see way of life broke lol absolutely not we ain't going for no brokey like what do you mean like do you think he looks like someone who's gonna go for a brokey can this develop over time i feel like it probably can and should so i don't wanna i don't wanna meddle with it too much oh taken <laughs> do we be messy You guys didn't see me do that, but you know, you know, we gotta add a little bit of messiness to this, right? We've also got romantic styles, okay? Yes. Um, I mean, if you like, it's probably like this as well. And then everything else we will find out. Okay, let's get the colors in. We're going blue, we're going green. One, two, three. I can't pronounce that. Neil, one, two, three sure i think we've got new stuff here so now we've got romantic boundaries so this sim feels jealous if any romantic partner engages in non-physical romance with other sims i'm gonna say no i feel like a little flirt flirt he's probably also gonna be going around i don't think he's that picky about that because he looks like the type of sim that would do that anyway and by the way this is only for him so like he may feel like this but his whoever he gets with if he gets with someone they may not feel about this so he's like oh yeah flirting ain't cheating and then someone else is like uh, excuse you so yeah that should be really fun and really really interesting but yeah this is neil oh my gosh what do you guys think let me know and let's just get straight into the gameplay and see what this game what this expansion pack has brought to the game oh wait actually i want a pet <laughs> <laughs> i want a pet ibble obble black bubble ibble obble out we are going to be a cat daddy wow <laughs> you know i think that works perfectly with this pack you know i mean i feel like he would be spoiled let's be real we're going to call you boris all right guys this is our cat boris yes boris and what he's got his little blue <laughs> not me making the cat a Tory. don't dead me guys what season should we go into maybe spring that's like you know love day romance obviously we're going to the new world <laughs> Okay, maybe we won't move in because the UI decided to bug out and now there's nothing there! Fun! <laughs> Please start working. Okay, I'm gonna try exit to main menu. Save and exit. I don't know what you're saving, but sure. Okay, spring, the new world. Congratulations, you played yourself. I don't know why I did the same thing expecting it to do something different. Okay, okay, so Willow Creek opens up, but the new world doesn't. Per, we'll try and move him to the new world. Um, there are no NPC. Oh, should we add drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Who should be our dealer? Um, 
Oh my gosh, Agnes Crumplebaum, a drug dealer? Yes, please. Where's Caleb? I just saw Caleb Vitor. Caleb Vitor, you give drug dealer vibes. Should we have a police officer as well? Why not? You know, someone we gotta be side eyeing. Oh my gosh, her sister. Oh, <gasps> tea. But can we have a good look at Oh man, Neil. Oh my gosh. Also, I love this reshade. But Neil is given everything he needs to give. Now let's try to move to the new world if the map wants to open. No, it surely is. Oh my gosh, Cupid's corner. Oh, I cannot wait to use that. We need to move out first. How do we not me been playing The Sims pretty much all my life? And I don't know how to move house. Oh, here we go. Travel, move household. <laughs> Lol. You and your phone. Okay, I know I'll struggle with my phone, but I'm not that much of a beginner where I don't need to I don't know how to use my phone. Like, come on guys. I've been playing The Sims since I was like five or six years old. Put some respect on my name. Please just load the map. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? It's fine. Okay, we are going to play the pack. We're just not going to go to the new world, apparently, because the new world doesn't want to work. We are going to attempt to do this um, first episode without going to the new world, which, you know what, is fine. I didn't want to build a house. I wanted to move into, like, a really built one. Oh, gosh. I just CBA to be building right now. I can't lie to you guys. I mean, I guess this lets us see some of the new stuff. So there should be some pre-made rooms, right? I could just put some of the pre-made pre rooms together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this room. Wild hearts. That is such a vibe. Ooh, okay, a little gym. You know what, Slay? We don't have a cute gym in our yard because why not? I said buy room. Hello? Oh, I forgot. This is The Sims 4. Why would it work? What was I thinking? <laughs> that the game was going to work? Oh my gosh, wait, no. Build mode isn't working at all. Wait, why is this out here? Um, hello? Okay, there we go. It's, it's here now. So, will it build? Okay, cool. Oh, that was scaring me. This is just temporary until the new world wants to let us move in though guys even though i said all that like i can't lie i was putting in a lot of attention to detail with this build like it was meant to just be a cute little studio because we weren't gonna live here long but like i've low-key fallen in love with his house like it's so neil it's like literally so perfect for him and like i really put a lot of effort into making it seem like somewhere where he would actually live and want to live it's a little studio because you know everyone has to start somewhere but i'm thinking of uploading the full build on my channel if you guys want to see that because i i was yappa yappa yapping through this build but it was a lot of fun and i feel like you know it'd be a nice little change of pace to watch i present to you the ugliest most eccentric house you have seen today well the ugliest yes most eccentric no because i'm sure that people have done worse as soon as you walk in you already know what the assignment is we have the vibrating love bed yes sir yep the assignment was understood and look at this beautiful wallpaper so oh my gosh like it's just screaming neil like just the randomness the beauty it's like random but cohesive at the same time like it just works we've got a fireplace because we've got this you know the woohoo rug guitar because i feel like neil's a guitarist or he wants to be and it's a little studio apartment so we've got our cute little kitchen net over here but here is the bathroom i'm gonna add in a mirror because i forgot to so these tiles are new it's super cute the bath isn't new nothing else is new but the floor is look at that floor oh the rug is new too yes okay oh that is a new light and that is also a new light so yeah what do you guys think this is just a temporary home because for some reason the game doesn't want me to go to the new world so this is our home we are going to be doing episode one of this mini series without even getting to see the new world let me just quickly add in some mirrors and i'll be right back yes now he looks like he belongs in this house also he is slaying like this little candy like he knows what he needs to give and he's giving it yes slay king slay as we sit our bosom on the vibrating bed we are gonna head to cupid's corner ah! right so we're gonna open cupid's corner um cupid's corner hello I just opened you, but you didn't open. This is a great start to the Let's Play. Like, we love to see it. I might have to play this vanilla, but I don't want to play this vanilla. Um, Miss Cupid, or Mr. Cupid, or Cupid. Please, we just want to go on the app. What else can you do in the game? I feel like, okay, you know what? Let's 
check out our aspiration so go on a get to know you date okay okay so we've got different styles of dates okay cool oh yeah we got a romance skill now oh my gosh yeah romantic blanket three times for romance share food okay yes all right we need to go oh the thing is i really want to use cupid corner to find our love but like right now one of my mods isn't making cupid corner work well at least it's not making letting us open it but maybe we can we go on a blind date maybe oh okay hold on that looks like it's gonna work okay so we can't open the app but we can at least go on a blind date so let's see who we gonna end up with ah! okay it's a lot so we don't even know who our blind date a guest <laughs> why are we having a guest on our date that is so oh <gasps> Boris? Yes, we're bringing our cat with us to our date. Right, oh, right. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Right, select activities. So let's do food. We need to share food two times. Well, I wonder if this will take us to the new world. This could be our little way to be able to get to the new world, which would be exciting. We could go skating. That could be cute. We want to be romantic. Yeah, we want to get the romance juices flowing. Drinks. Oh, you can go and exercise it. Dance. Yes, we need to dance dance okay so food socializing drinking dancing woohoo on the first date <laughs> you're a little nasty um i think that's fine for now maybe be friendly as well in case like we don't even feel the social okay, which one has the special dance i think it's the lounge that has the special dance the romantic dance right ah, oh my gosh <laughs> we might we actually could go to the new world <laughs> Neil's about to go on his first blind date. <gasps> Wait, who's our blind date? Are you our blind date? Lavina Corpora. Hold Wait, who who are you? Guys, I thought this I mean, slay. I'm so glad that Boris is here to be our mental support. At first, I thought Bella Goth was going to be our blind date. I was going to be like, Bella, you outside, I see. Like, you. she said with my wedding ring and all let's try the flirty introduction like he says go big or go home like we've got to be bold with it all right neil let's see what you got really you guys have to face like away hold on okay neil what you got for us oh it worked she said <laughs> she liked that i mean how could you resist these charms like, look at Anyway, we ain't got no friendship, but she likes a romance. She's got a sentiment about us. Oh, hold on. First impression, anti-crush. No, she's over here like, oh my gosh, he's so romantic. And we're just here like, ew. Brother, ew. <laughs> Is this like at first sight a thing? Because Neil really does not like Lavina's vibe. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, Mortimer's in here, okay? I, I see you, Bella. Mortimer was getting you the drinks. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, if we open some profile. Ooh, our attraction to her is neutral. We don't know about her attraction to us. She's got a crush on us already. Lol, and we're just like... Uh -uh. that's i love that so one of the updates i was meant to come with the whole date thing was that sims should no longer interrupt you when you're on a date let's see if that is the case they shouldn't they shouldn't just like randomly join our conversations the lag and the actual game itself is fine but like getting up this window is is taking ages oh relationship okay okay cool so this is like cool for liquid dates so we can ask if single learn more let's ask attraction of i don't know what that actually means but let's do it he's just looking at her like mm. so did we get like a pop-up about that attraction you're all right i guess ah! i don't think anything is particularly wrong with you at least oh my god she said you all right ah! <laughs> no yo neil is vex he's actually like who does she think she is oh my gosh like no neil is offended neil is like do you not see this pure brilliance the fashionista inside of me how dare you with your um cottage core i'm so bad at roasting guys anyone who can roast please give me your best roast. but like her she's got a beautiful face that like she is beautiful i just don't know oh my oh, i just realized her face she's looking at him like mm, you are right. and he's looking at her like what did you just say to me <laughs> oh my god gosh hold on i feel like i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the dynamic right now but like clearly she's putting up a, th a front because it said she's got a crush on us so like she's playing hard to get which her okay lavina i say we just you know going for the cheeky flirt because he is a flirt by nature that is like his personality 
Look at his fake smile. He's really trying. He's like, hmm, hmm. Low. He's just like, do I have to flirt? Like, really? <laughs> He's not feeling her at all. Wait, did someone else start talking to us? Okay, no, we're just looking at someone else for some reason. Oh, she took the flirt, though. That's crazy, though. Neil, you're wild for that. Man said she was talking to him, and he just completely ignored her for the whole time, but was like, and she was probably like, hey, are you listening? And he was like, mwah. And she's like, oh my gosh. Neil, your game is on a whole other level. We've acquired the romance skill. Let's go. Okay, right. Let's see. Neil's new skill in romance will allow him to successfully flirt more frequently and romance other sims faster. Neil can now research romance tips on the computer and perform form romantic introduction love that for you neil okay not um not octavia moon playing with boris oh my gosh let's offer a seductive dance to her <laughs> i really want to see that all right we're about to offer a seductive dance come on neil you got this she's like yeah sure okay neil come on strut your stuff neil don't get stage fright now i know there are a lot of people around not boris on the table Hey, Boris, get some tips if you're going to be dancing on the table. Okay, it's not very seductive, but like... Oh! 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 She said, I will give you the seductive dance! Okay! Okay, Boris, I want to see you move like that. Hold on. Come on, Boris. I know your hips don't lie. You can't let um Lavina, I think that's her name, show you out. Come on. Look how she's swaying! Oh yes! Hey, 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 girl, work it! Come on, come on, Neil. Hey, yeah, go! Hey, hey, I'm loving this little dance battle vibe. Oh, hold on! Oh, <laughs> yes! hold her neck like oh gosh i am not used to that oh hold on i'm feeling tense dislike some nearby wait who do who don't you like <laughs> hold on you're literally just born why do you not like someone already is it her like do you dislike her can i just say this lounge feels very alive which slay well if you're not feeling her no more then we could just stop talking to her boris is just giving just his arms in the way like eliza do you mind should we just be absolutely diabolical and try and flirt with someone else whilst we're on a date? In fact, you go uni, innit? Julia, Wa Guan Julia, were you saying, girl? She's here as a fan, though. She's probably not even gonna talk to us. Let's be nice. Let's order a drink for our date as well. And that'll be like the last thing we do with our date. Have something to drink. You're gonna need it because I'm about to dip. <laughs> I'm getting a drink for my date. Where did our date go? <gasps> Excuse me? Not her doing our plan before us. Like, and we'll be out here on a date with you and you over here flirting with celebrities now. Is that what you're on? Okay, fine. Slay. Say less. You was clapped anyway. <laughs> Joking. Wow, and we're just about, we're about to spend our money on a drink for her. Nah, no, we need to get some revenge because if Neil is one thing, Neil is petty. You know what? Neil has a thing for people who are taken. So let's see if we can chat up Eliza. Like, what is Eliza doing at a lounge by herself, realistically? She knew what she came for. She knew what she came for. Girl, why are you at the lounge? Eliza, let me riz you up. Oh. <gasps> She took the riz. Not her having a crush on us. Oh, wait, we actually have a good sentiment about Eliza. She's admirable. Eliza? Dude, are we talking about the same Eliza? Boy. I mean, if that's your thing, I guess. But uh, she's not even reacting. She doesn't even care. She's just like, I'm just going to keep staring at the celebrity. Actually, no. It's giving, I'm not going to look, I'm not going to look, I'm not going to look. So she does care. Ha 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 ha. I mean, we might as well just end the date here. Like, well, that was a date. It was a date, right? Your sim has a little gift in their household inventory for a consolation prize. 
breathtaking balance from drinking wine. Okay, Mr. Bougie. Okay, Mr. Wine Connoisseur. Let's go use their bathroom and then leave. Maybe we can send some little... <gasps> oh my gosh. I just realized Eliza's one of our neighbors, isn't she? So, low-key, we could, we could call her over for a little booty call. Oh, wait, hold on. Agnes is here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is she going? Pearl, we want to buy some stuff off you. The garden shop. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. She's a garden shop owner. But we know what she really grows. <laughs> Do we need to be friends with her before we can buy off of her? I don't even see the option. I think we need to at least introduce ourselves. Let's do a respectful introduction. Oh wait, he's about to wet himself. Wait, hold on. Why is his bladder filling up? What the heck? Okay, my game is just slightly broken. Just a little bit. Okay, come on. We need to get to know Agnes so that we can, <laughs> you know, get the good good. You know, see, I'm so respectful, aren't I? She's like, you're dressed like a hooligan. You're not going to bow back? Okay, yeah, I was going to say. Put some respect on my name, bruv. Right, let's see if not. I don't care about you, bruv. Let's see if we can get anything off her now. Because I did set her as a, um, a dealer. <laughs> you know what? He's very good at just watching and listening with a poker face. Like, in his head, he's probably thinking, like, he's probably not even listening. But he's good at pretending and looking like he's listening. He's like, yeah, you keep ranting to me. Wait, who is this? Valentina. Hold on, Miss Valentina. What are you say? <gasps> Guys, look up. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to buy. Um... Purple haze, why not? Guys, look at her. I see. Hold on, is he looking at her? He is. Yo! Okay, I see why he came to sit down because look at this gorgeous, gorgeous sim. Yo, she got body as well. And Boris loves. You know what? We brought Boris as a guest, and look, he's literally pointing at her. Boris, you nasty cat. Why are you? I bet he's pretending to sleep. He's just like... <laughs> he's like... <laughs> Boris, you nasty little cat. But, hold on, we can't leave before we have a conversation with Miss Valentina. We need to at least get Miss Valentina's number. Oh my gosh, this sim is gorgeous. I'm not... Right, like, I low-key thought she was like a custom content sim, but no, she must be from the pack. He's beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Yeah, sure. It'll cost you, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just give me the stuff. We are going to risk getting slapped up in the face by a crumple bottom. Because, now we need... We need to do this romantic introduction. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yay! She liked it! Slay! Oh, my gosh introduction to attraction at a glance neil has a natural attraction to valentina i knew it <laughs> oh yeah miss crumble bottom is not happy with us <laughs> she's probably about to beat us up oh yeah oh <laughs> he's like worth it <laughs> no don't be flirty don't you dare be flirty to Stop! No! Not in front of Valentina! What's wrong with you? Hey, he's determined. Stop trying to... Hey! Hey! We're not going to ask if she's single because we really do not care if she's single. We are going straight in with the flirtation. In fact, let's do a bold pickup line because we're feeling confident, like... Yes! Go, Neil! Get the girl. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Romantic satisfaction begins. What is this? Oh, my gosh. So, we got to make sure that she's romantically satisfied. That is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, high romance satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationships easier. Low romance satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationships more difficult. Okay. So, we've got to figure out how to maintain a good satisfaction romantic satisfaction talk promises and commitment yo <laughs> neil be careful not to scare her away i mean she seems interested this is going really well but you know what the best part like the thing that really makes 
with romance pops is like that longing for them afterwards but like i feel like we still need to do like a little bit more of romance and then we leave and then we disappear and it's just like oh i have a wonder like is he gonna text me <laughs> throughout the conversation neil got the impression that valentina finds him quite attractive let's go let's go oh, wait is she about to leave oh she's left okay so she's decided you know longing is a big part of this Let's see, what's on, what's up, what's Neil saying? What's his face saying? He's like, he's like trying to not make it look like he's watching her go, but he is watching her go. Oh my gosh, like I actually, based on like all the interaction that came out, it actually feels like the trait actually does something because he falls in love hard and he falls in love quickly because he's a love bug. And literally he was just, every two seconds, he was just talking about promises and commitment, just going, 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 going. So I love that. Like it felt like it was out of my control. And I love that, like, I love that it actually made a difference. Oh, wait, actually, while we're here, we can have a look at the world. Oh, I love it. It's a bit dark, but that could be the time of year. Like, I feel like in summer it would pop, but I feel like it should pop even in spring. But just as of just, like, looks, like, I love that it, it actually looks different to the other worlds. Like, it looks like its own world, which I am so here for. Where is he even going to leave? Is that like a bus stop? Oh, <gasps> it is a bus stop. Love that. Neil is feeling like a million bucks after meeting the love of his life. Well, this season's love of his life. We'll actually see. But oh my gosh, Valentina was beautiful, bro. I love his his studio, man. <laughs> is so just crazy and wonderful okay so boom he's just had an encounter with the beautiful 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 sim yeah valentina so you already know now he's gonna be like i need to research romance i need to research romance now actually we got that thing where we can do it on a computer so let's get him a laptop oh my gosh blog manifestation of love yes <laughs> We're going to do that first and then we're going to research because literally Neil is literally like, he's swinging his feet right now. He's like, oh my gosh, I just met the love of my life. Should we get him the writing skill? Should he run like a romance blog? He's like, dear diary. <laughs> oh my gosh, does Neil have a romance blog called dear diary? Today I met the love of my life and like we're going to have 30 children and we're going to get married twice. Um, We're going to honeymoon in... <laughs> gonna honeymoon by the beach it's gonna be slay we're gonna have like five cats maybe three dogs and we're just gonna like live the bestest local life <laughs> oh my gosh i just realized we don't have any pet stuff for um um boris if this little studio wasn't crowded enough <laughs> we just added some more stuff but like it was needed stuff research romance tips let's go neil just had his first experience understanding a positive or resilient romance outlook okay with enough of these kinds of experiences sims can develop the romance sage trait oh oh so this is something that you learn from as you're a teen that's so cool that's sick and i think he leveled up yes level two neil can now share a sweetheart box with another sim oh is that in like build mode or like how do you get a sweetheart box i really want one but boom we've hit our first aspiration task we've completed we're feeling flirty it's been a couple hours since we last saw valentina so i think we should send her over a cute little text oh wait send flirty selfie yes we are going to send a flirty selfie to valentina let's do it but is he take he took the selfie while sat sitting down look at he is so cute <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, that's scary. Low. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see. What's the best? Where can we get the best lighting? This lighting's pretty decent. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Should we try a different pose? Yeah, I feel like this pose. Yes. Keep herself nice and bright. Okay, let's see what she thinks. Oh, hold on. Valentina is feeling a romantic connection for Neil and wants to suggest a date. Do you want this to happen? Yes, let's go on a date. Oh my gosh, a get to know date. That is exactly what we need. So the main objective, complete complete date goals, get to know your date based on the activities you choose. Okay, okay, okay. But part of me wants to do the get to know date like at our house. <laughs> because, you know, then we can play the games and do all that kind of stuff. But 
feel like you know we've got to make a good impression you've got to make a good impression oh my gosh there's romantic repair dates that is amazing oh my gosh right let's go on this get to know date yeah actually let's go to a bar and if we're going to a bar then let's add let's get some drinks as well you know we can get rid of the skating for now oh my gosh we, we're already on a second date it's like well actually this is our first date with valentina but this is really exciting so so far we've tried out the blind dates um we've you know done a little bit of romance as well it's been it's been good. I'm I'm having so much fun playing this new pack. Okay, we're here on the day, but you cannot be wearing this on the day. Come on, man. I mean, she's already seen us in this. Like, maybe we should change. She wear like a party wear. I know we're in a bar, but like I say, you know, put a cute little party wear. Give her a little bit of epilepsy. You know, I wish that Sims could like walk and hold hands. Ah, that'd be so cute. Like, you know, you can hold an infant, like pick up infant. You could do like hold hand. And then, like, they'd always walk together the same way that, like, you're holding, like, an infant or a baby. Ooh, date actions. Oh, cool. Oh, my gosh, you can ask to extend date and end date. Oh, my gosh, we should have done that with what's her face. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't even see that. Hmm, what do we think she would like? Let's get a flaming B-52. I just realized there's a closet here. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> do you think we can get... <laughs> Yo. Oh, why did that make our roommates go down? Dude, what did you say to her? Let's see. Feeling fulfilled. I'm glad you're feeling fulfilled. Um, But you said something that kind of got on our nose. Look at that face. Look at her face. She's like, what did you say to me? Okay, cool. It's fine. Right. We need to share interests and flirt some more. Oh, hold on. So that's why they're called flaming. How come only hers is on fire? What? Why isn't ours on fire too? Girl, if you steal my drink. If you steal my drink, I will swim. Look at the way Neil is looking at Valentina, though. Love that, Neil. Yes, not us being so in sync and, like, sipping at the same time. Girl, I saw you reaching for my drink. Don't you dare. Don't think I didn't notice. We're going to compliment her appearance. We're going to be like, you are so beautiful. Apparently, we've identified the koi. She likes R&B music oh my gosh it was meant to be and she doesn't like spooky music love that oh my gosh an r&b girly oh her satisfaction went up she's like you know what i am satisfied in this with how this relationship is going so far love that so when he falls he falls hard so we're just gonna go straight up and confess attraction i really ha wish i had that um the sweetheart bot i mean they could share the little sweetheart treats that'd be so cute oh wait you purchased it on the phone oh oh my gosh <gasps> we should have bought her flowers okay i don't know whether these are gonna come straight away if they do amazing sweetheart box oh my gosh let's get is there a blue one because he loves blue there is okay we're gonna go with this one please come in our interval and choice straight away and don't be delivered yes oh my gosh right we're gonna give her flowers <laughs> like <laughs> this is for you <laughs> <laughs> okay we're gonna give her this floral symphony bouquet and like it matches her outfit as well oh nox brother don't ruin my shot hold on let's go from this side look at him giving her the flowers like here you go oh my gosh Th see this was the tip that he researched online he was like oh okay so you gotta give a girl flowers i'd say less oh my gosh not those two lovebirds that's so cute actually nox you're really getting in the way of this really cute scene wait is bob pancakes here bob look i'm sorry about your wife um yeah my bad bro oh what's this secret love letter <laughs> he really does fall hard doesn't he okay i really want to see what it's like for them to share the thing but i want this to be a really good date so i need to make sure that i keep them socializing why do we still have the flowers did we not give the flowers to her we did give her flowers right we don't have a mood about giving her flowers but why do we still have these we're gonna be mischievous lol go for it congratulations you played yourself he's over here telling this rumor and she's just trying to Knox. Knox, do you mind do you mind not ruining our date please please and thank you wait girl why are you feeling heartbroken you're not feeling fulfilled what oh 
Valentina has left the date after receiving too many mean or mischievous interactions from Neil. That's why he was only in mischievous once. No. Oh my gosh, not us getting rejected. First of all, the fact that the NPCs can do that, amazing. I love that. But also, talk about heartbroken. What? Embarrassing encounter for awkward date moment. She was like, yeah, bye. Oh my gosh. And now we're just here with Nox. And we don't even like Nox, apparently. Look at them just being romantic together, rubbing it in all the single people's faces. Oh no. Wait, she's married? He's married? No, that is crazy. Girl, what excuse did you give your husband? <laughs> it's finding out that she's married. No way. So, like, do you not like us anymore? I mean, she's feeling satisfied. Oh, no, no, she's feeling very satisfied. Neil, this whole time I thought you thought she was attractive. You don't think she's attractive? Is that why you were so mean to her? Neil, you're actually... This guy is the biggest actor because he even fooled me. I thought he thought she was attractive, but apparently not. Anyway, with that disaster over and done with, I'm going to leave that here, guys. I've had so much fun. Hopefully by the time I do the next episode, I would have sorted out the reason why we can't go to the other world and then we could move into the other world. But for now, we get to have our little eccentric studio. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new pack. I'm loving it so far. I've had the most fun right now in The Sims that I've ever had. And the fact that she literally was like, yeah, bye. I don't want to be on a date with you anymore. That was everything to me. Like, oh. The Sims just feels so much more alive and I am very glad that I put my coins that I didn't have down to this pack. Anyway, I will see you next time. Peace.